that will give you the inspiration to try and slip the fennings, to consummate the relationship. She gone to bed before me the other night, one of her headaches. It's the only chance I get to get that remote control for the satellite dish. Hey, lads? Uh, uh, early morning, late night. Now, let me just say, as a man of 60, I am concerned about the amount of pornography that we're exposed to through the media nowadays. I mean, not just the television. What about the internet? I'm about to get a left-handed mouse. And the television. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this after nine o'clock at night on television, anything, you know, women shagging women, men shagging men. I was frightened. They had to watch one man and his dog the other afternoon. But I'm scanning the channels as you do, and quite accidentally, I tuned into that porno channel from Germany. I thought, Christ Almighty, this will get the wrinkles out me, Dick. Have a look at this. But I know, I did what every gentleman in this room would do in similar circumstances. I shut the door to the stairs and turned the volume down. <laughs> After a few minutes, I started to get a bit of a potty prawn. I thought, oh, this could be the night. Bear in mind, you're going to go to shag my missus. The legs have been together longer than status quo, but I thought, never mind. Get up there. I crawled into the bedroom on all fives. And she... She was looking quite useful. She'd shaved her legs and trimmed her moustache, put a bit of fresh vic on her vest, you know what I mean? Still look like a rock baller in knickers, but you know what it's like to look for. It. Now, I'll, now I'll, I'll share this with you. My missus prefers to do it doggy fashion, which basically means I kneel up and beg and she rolls over and plays dead. So I thought I could just get her. If I could just get her with her eyes open. I stood on tiptoes to look across the bulk of her torso. Her eyes were open. I said, Sweetheart, you're looking very alluring this evening. I said, I said, how are we fixed for a bit of a sniff and a fidget? I said, have you taken precautions? I yeah, I've tied my foot to the radiator if I've back. No, she... No, she says. I says, haven't you got a condom? A bloody condom at my age. All a condom does for me is make me dick look like a little bank robber. Mind, mind you, I... Mind you, I bought some of them fluorescent condoms the other week. You should have seen the face like them. <laughs> But I'm not, but I'm, I'm not in the business of getting, as I said, there's some wonderful ladies here tonight, God bless you. I mean, I'm not in the business, all, I, my wife's got a lot of virtuous qualities, but there are other qualities that are very difficult to put up with. I mean, she's as thick as a Gurkha's foreskin, I can't believe, honestly. <laughs> I got home from work the other night, I said I've been watching a program on the television about reincarnation. I don't, what's reincarnation supposed to be about? I said, reincarnation, my dear, is the popular concept that after you've passed on, you come back, you come back as a different entity. You come back of a different entry. I said, no, you don't. <laughs> I said, reincarnation is the belief that after you've died, you come back, you come back as something different. Also, I think I'd like to come back as a pig. I said, you're not pissing, listening, you, are you? 